Well, I keep getting told Fastnet are famous for their canopies, and yet all the local ones to us don't have them. Well, here we are in Bradford. Beautiful sunny day, but very cold. And what do we find here? We find pretty much everything. We've got a canopy. Look at that. We've also got a pull-through bay. Look at that. We've also met up with one of our regular viewers, Daniel, who's charging his Renault Scenic. This has got everything plus We've now got 400 kilowatt chargers. You may recognize these. These are the same as BP Pulse and so many other people are using these these days. And these of course do have CHAdeMO as well. I'm Dave, welcome to Dave Takes It On from Sunny Bradford. Canopies. We get so many mentions about canopies. Why can't they? Because every single petrol station does have a canopy. We keep getting reminded from all the EV haters that they do only take five minutes to fill up. I think one of the first differences I would point out is that when you fill up with petrol, you do have to stand there for that five minutes actually filling it up. So a canopy is absolutely critical. Wind, rain, snow, cold, freezing, the lot. Whereas we EV drivers plug in and then we can go and do what we do. We can sit in the car, go to the facilities or whatever. So for us, a canopy is not so critical. But yes, it would definitely be nicer if when we just do take two seconds to plug in our car uh, that we didn't have to get wet during that time. So congratulations Fastnet and others uh, for putting canopies up there. And a big negative to all the people who remind me that it does take five minutes to fill up a petrol car. You, you say it with such glee and then you seem to totally forget that I passed my driving test many many decades ago and for 30, 40 years, I've been driving around in petrol and diesel cars before EVs came on the road. I am fully aware of exactly how long it does take to fill up a petrol or a diesel car. You do not need to keep on reminding me how long it takes. I've just chosen now to wake up every morning and come to a car which is absolutely full of electricity without me having to do anything. Mine charges while I'm asleep. Anyway, that's another matter. So Fastnet, uh, one downside of this, and petrol stations of course, is that uh, we were talking to Daniel, and he's a local round here of course, and during the recent snow they had, we didn't get much of that down in Preston, but anyhow, they had some snow here, and he came here to charge, and he found he couldn't even get in here because this was absolutely covered with quite thick snow. And although the charges themselves were not covered in snow because the canopy was protecting them. The approach road was thick snow and he couldn't get in here. So they spent quite some time shoveling away the snow so they could get in here. So thanks very much for your efforts on that one, Daniel. Uh, but they're not the perfect answer for everything. And of course, that's the whole point of Dave Takes It On. We do come out here. We are fortunate that we meet up with some of our viewers and we can get their comments, good or bad. Daniel had some very negative things to say and we listen to them and we actually publish them. They will go up on the video, uh, good or bad, because it's what our viewers actually are experiencing. And so these visits are exactly what we're experiencing. So we are in the infancy of EVs. They are not yet mainstream. They are taking over very slowly, a lot slower than many people thought they would. Uh, but uh, congratulations, Fastnet. You have some really good things going. You have now 400 kilowatt charging. That's a good breakthrough. You have your canopies, very distinctive. Well done. We have here a drive through bay. These are not that common. So if you have a caravan, unfortunately, it's quite a tight little turning to get in, uh, but I'm sure it's uh, capable. Uh, but you now have um, some nice charges in a central location. Bradford's a big city uh, and I'm sure there's going to be a demand for these. So we tell the good with the bad. Over time it will change. I look back, I've had my car on the road for five years and the situation back then very different. I would imagine five years time be hugely different again. The location here is a little bit unusual. I think it might actually become more of the norm. 
Uh, but it's a lovely little fenced off area. We've got a nice little uh, cast iron fence which goes all around the location. It's a good location as well with uh, there's a nice roundabout there, dual carriageway. Uh, it's a central situation. Um, very popular, cars going past all the time. So there's obviously a lot of traffic. It's a very nice little area that's quite easy to maintain as well. Uh, we heard from one viewer uh, who used here that they have a bit of a problem with snow. Uh, we are well up into the Pennines here in Bradford. So maybe a little bit of thought for that. Maybe a little grit box so you can scatter grit about if you do come across the snow. Uh, but this is actually an ideal little location. Uh, well done, Fastened, for finding this one. Now we come on to power. These are rated at 400 kilowatts. And when we look down at the plate, they're quite capable of producing 400 kilowatts at up to 1,000 volts. Now these are very different to the current Tesla V4 chargers, which are 250 kilowatts, but only at 400 volts. As many of you, yeah, thank you very much. As many of you 800 volt architecture cars will have discovered where when you go to a 250 kilowatt Tesla charger, you're only getting about 80, 90, maybe 100 kilowatts. But to explain, if you have an 800 volt architecture, go to any Tesla supercharger open to all, you're gonna be limited to 100. Just accept my word for that for now. These are rated at 1,000 volts and capped at 400 kilowatts. So when you bring your Kias and your, uh, your uh, Hyundais and your Porsches and your uh, uh, your Audi e-trons, etc., which are all 800 uh, kilowatts, 800 volt architecture. Here, you're going to get the, up to the full 400 kilowatts. None of you will get that. Uh, I think they top out around about 320, 330 kilowatts, which is uh, the maximum you're going to get. But you're going to get a really good charging speed. So these are important. All cars, 400 volt, 800 volt, will get a really good fast charge here. Teslas, by the way, are topped off at about 250 kilowatts. So none of the Teslas will get anywhere near this. The 800 volt ones are topped off at about 3, 320, 350. So they'll get much more. Shadomo, by the way, here, it's capped at 50 kilowatts. This is fairly standard. I think the absolute maximum they can ever get up to is about 100, 150 kilowatts. Uh, so you're never gonna get more than that. So these are gonna give a really fast charge to whoever comes here. So if you've got Hyundai's, Kia's uh, uh, and Porsche's, uh, along with Ionity, GridServe, uh, these are a great destination uh, for the 800 volt architecture cars. So it should be on your list. Uh, Fastened, uh, the actual price is not that exciting, but they have some cracking memberships. And of course, like we've just done here, the auto charge is a stunning feature. And this really is a pilot. This should be the way all charging goes. I know Ionity have their plug and charge. It doesn't work. There's a handful of cars that can actually do it uh, and it's not growing at any sensible rate. Uh, auto charge is available to a long, long list of cars uh, and this should become uh, as popular as the Tesla. Just plug in and off you go. Massive big thank you to Fastned. This is a terrific effort and if more charging locations were like this, we would be very happy. We have to realize this is the cutting edge, but this is today. And when we come along with solid state batteries, this might be nowhere near enough to be able to charge one of those solid state batteries in just 10 minutes. This might be hopelessly out of date in just five years time. We are in an ever evolving technological race to get what people actually want. Fastened, you are one of the market leaders. What a shame there's not enough of you around. And if other CPOs, that's the charge point operators or charging networks, want to have an example to follow, come and look at some of the Fastened locations. They are a beacon that you all should be copying with the auto charge, the canopies, the 400 kilowatts, the pull through bays, brilliant marking, absolutely everything we could ask for. If you copy Fastened, you wouldn't go far wrong. And Fastened, if you can fit as many as GridServe, you're gonna be a world leader. So I'm Dave, thanks very much for listening. If you enjoyed this, click the like button. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe.